Hey guys, what's going on? Today, I'm taking you to a dim sum restaurant in the Gold Coast Casino in Las Vegas. Let's go and check it out. This restaurant is called Ping Pang Pong. It's a pretty popular dim sum spot that's been open for several years. Dim sum is a popular Chinese brunch meal that's made up of small plates that are meant to be shared, similar to Spanish tapas, and it's best to be eaten with tea. Dim sum literally means to touch the heart in Chinese. It's right inside the Gold Coast Casino, which is off this trip, right across from the Rio and the Palms. This restaurant is open from 10 a.m. to 3 a.m. every day, but they only serve dim sum from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. You can tell this casino has a large Asian clientele by the large Chinese banners hanging up high above the casino. There's usually a long line for dim sum in the mornings, and I don't believe they take reservations for that. Usually they aren't too busy for dinner though. They also offer limited dim sum items on the dinner menu too. There's a separate line for to-go orders and a VIP line if you gamble a lot and have status with this casino as well. This is like the calm before the storm. Pretty soon this place will be filled up with carts roaming around and ladies yelling out what kind of dim sum you want. Here's a look at their dim sum menu with all the items that they offer. At dim sum there's ladies pushing these carts around with all these plates and you pick and choose the ones you want off the carts. You don't need to order from the server directly unless you want something that you can't find in the carts. Like these lunch menu items here, you'll have to order them directly from the server. You won't find any of these stuffs on the carts. Here's the pricing for all the dim sum items and some drinks that they offer. Here they are loading up the carts, fresh out of the kitchen, ready to roll them out to hungry customers. When you first sit down, the server will ask you what kind of tea you want to drink. Some popular teas are Bole, which is like a black tea that has a deep earthy taste, and Guk Fa, which is like a chrysanthemum tea that has a sweet floral taste, and Guk Bo, which is a combination of these two teas. Tea costs one dollar per person here. We decided to get the chrysanthemum tea. They give you rock sugar for the tea, but it's naturally sweet, and I didn't have to add any additional sugar to it. They give you some chili sauce, soy sauce, and mayonnaise to dip the food into. Here's the first round of stuff that we got. The braised chicken feet. The steamed barbecue pork buns. The shrimp stuffed eggplant. The beef meatballs. And the tofu skin wrapped beef rolls. They keep track of everything that you order on the sheet here and the cart lady will stamp your card depending on what category of item that you get. Eight items are the cheapest for $3.28 and chef special items are $9.99 each. We also got the deep fried shrimp balls. Let's try out this one first. It's breaded and deep fat fried with a really nice crispy outer shell and there's some kind of meaty ground shrimp mixture on the inside. Let's try it out with some of that mayonnaise. Let's try the beef meatballs next. There's this tofu skin stuck on the bottom of it so it's tough to get out. And it comes with some kind of sauce, I believe it's Worcestershire sauce. This meatball consists of minced beef, water chestnuts, and coriander. It's pretty savory and quite soft. Next we'll try the chicken feet. This is actually my first time trying chicken feet. It's very gelatinous and there's a lot of little bones inside. You basically just kind of suck on it to get the juices out. There's virtually no meat at all in this. It's basically just skin and cartilage. Next we'll try the barbecue pork bun. There's a paper wrapper on the bottom that's not edible, so don't forget to take that out. There's been times where I forget that that's there and I actually eat it. This is a pillowy soft bun on the outside and has diced pieces of Chinese pork on the inside. This ain't your regular barbecue sauce either. It's made out of Chinese barbecue sauce that consists of soy sauce, hoisin sauce, oyster sauce, and Chinese five spice. It's sweet and savory. Sometimes they'll use red food coloring to make it look red as well. And 
Next, we got the hagao, which is like a shrimp dumpling. The skin is a delicate wrapper that's so thin it's almost transparent. It has pieces of minced shrimp in there, and it tasted really shrimpy. Next, we got the shumai, which is like a pork dumpling with mushrooms and shrimp in it. Both hagao and shumai are staples at dim sum. The yellow wrapper is different from the hagao we ate earlier. This one seems thicker and it tastes like a regular dumpling wrapper. I believe that's some kind of fish roe on top, and there's some kind of white round chewy thing also, but I'm not quite sure what that was. There was a big chunk of shrimp in this that really overpowered all the other ingredients. Really all I could taste was a big shrimp flavor. Next, we got the beef rice rolls. They put some sweet soy sauce on top of it. These are really smooth and slippery sometimes and hard to pick up with chopsticks. The filling is made out of this ground beef and scallion mixture. It's a very savory and slightly sweet dish. We also got the half roasted duck. We ordered this off the menu and didn't get this off the cart. It was succulent and very very juicy. You can see it's just dripping with all that juice and grease. But it was so juicy that the skin was not crispy at all. The skin was kind of soggy. I like the skin to be a little bit crispy at least. But the meat tasted good and I really like that sweet and sour sauce to dip it into. Next, we got the beef chow fun. This is another staple of Cantonese cuisine. It has bean sprouts, scallions, strips of tender beef, and rice noodles all stir fried together in a giant wok. You can really taste the heat of the wok in this dish. The noodles were a bit oily though. Actually, a lot of the items you eat at dim sum can be quite oily. That's why it's good to pair these dishes up with tea to balance out all that fat. I don't think this dish reheats very well, so it's best to eat it all while you're there. We're moving on to the dessert items now. For our first dessert, we got the sweet tofu pudding. It has silken tofu with a sweet ginger syrup. The tofu was so soft and it just melts in your mouth. This is one of my favorite desserts to get at dim sum. Next, we got the coconut buns. These are sweet bread rolls with a sweet coconut cream filling on the inside. The buns were very pillowy soft and there's nice pieces of shredded coconut on the inside. Next we got the pineapple buns. This is also a sweet bread roll, but it has a buttery and sweet crunchy cookie like layer on top. These are really similar to the Mexican concha that I ate in my Mexican Italian buffet video that I made last week. And no dim sum meal is complete without ending with egg tarts. These came out freshly baked, straight out of the oven. Inside is a sweet egg custard surrounded by layers of pastry crust. This is another one of my favorite desserts. Some dim sum restaurants will give you three of these per order, but this restaurant only gives you two. I could eat a whole plate of these just by myself. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you want more Vegas videos, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, or leave a comment down below. Tell us what your favorite dim sum restaurant is in Las Vegas.